NASA is trying to get to the moon in 2024. Here is the latest development. NASA has released images of its Lunar Gateway space station ahead of its proposed launch of two modules in 2024. In a statement released on its website, NASA describes the station as an outpost orbiting the moon that provides vital support for a sustainable, long-term human return to the lunar surface. Gateway will work as a kind of pit stop for astronauts on their way to the moon. NASA announced in February that after arriving at the station, astronauts will be delivered to the surface of the moon via a lunar lander built by Elon Musk's SpaceX. Eventually, it is hoped that Gateway will operate as a staging point for missions to the moon, NASA states on its website, but it could also operate as a port for spacecraft going beyond the moon into deep space. The process will begin in 2024 with the dual launch of the power and propulsion element of the station and the habitation and logistics outpost, which will initially provide living space for astronauts manning lunar missions, according to NASA. Gateway is an international project, with NASA listing its partners as the Canadian, Japanese, and European space agencies. If you want to know more about NASA's Gateway project, why not learn more about its orbit and the original plans behind it? NASA and the European Space Agency have decided how humanity's first lunar outpost should orbit the moon, and it's nothing short of angelic. NASA is planning to build a station for astronauts orbiting the moon, a project known as the Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway. According to an ESA press release, the Gateway space station will follow a near-rectilinear halo orbit, or NRHO. Gateway will pass 3,000 kilometers from the lunar surface at its closest and 70,000 kilometers at its furthest. One revolution around the moon takes approximately seven days. The ESA reports that a halo orbit is possible due to the gravitational interplay between the Earth and the moon, which creates a small area of stability or near-stability known as Liberation or Lagrange points. But as NRHO isn't entirely stable, the gateway will require periodic maneuvering to keep it from drifting off course. The space station is slated for completion in the mid-2020s. According to Space.com, NASA's 2019 fiscal budget request calls for a 2022 launch of the Power and Propulsion module. Two additional launches by 2025 will add habitation, logistics, and airlock functions. According to the ESA, Gateway will serve as a staging post where astronauts can dock and leave their spacecraft, then travel to the lunar surface in a lander. It will also provide them shelter, a place to stock up on fuel and supplies and relay communications, and a base to dispatch crew and robots to the moon. Definitely exciting times ahead for astronauts. A moon station? Yeah, why not? NASA says it plans to build a station for astronauts orbiting the moon. The project is called the Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway. NASA's 2019 fiscal year budget request calls for launching the first element, the Power and Propulsion Module, into space in 2022. Two additional launches by 2025 to add habitation, logistics, and airlock functions would complete the station. The gateway would be put in a near-rectilinear halo orbit, an orbit in cislunar space that could be used as a staging area for future missions. The platform's position would let astronauts control telerobots on the moon's surface that could be used to explore craters as well as carry out other experiences. Maybe we should try a moon landing. That's never been done before. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.